Right, so what we're up to now, and we've just done the spine. I'll put the elastic in at the end. So now, oh look, this one is just so easy. I've got a couple of tags I'll pull out. I'll just pull these tags out here while I'm here so we can see, you can see what I'm doing. Now this one here has just got a decorative paper on the bottom and it's just got a sewn belly band here and just some, it's got three pockets and all the pockets have been stitched down too. Okay, so this one is pretty cool and then that is the back which I've just left plain. So this one here is my back paper. I'll just flip that over and that is going to be put there but I've noticed this one here is just a little bit too wide so I'm going to have to cut that down. Um, this one is... oh come on. Right. So that back panel is four inches wide too so I'm just going to cut it down at um, three I'm going to cut it down at two notches below the the four oops well that wasn't very good was it just ripped it bullet a gate Wendy bullet a gate I think my blade's getting a a bit blunt but that's okay let's just ink that and it'll be like a little bit of decoration okay it's going on the back anyway right so that is going to go fit there nicely yep so I'm going to tack my back I might want that up the top I think do I no I'll put it down the bottom I'm going to tack my back page on now Okay, and that to that there. Okay, that's my back page. I'm not going to worry about that. It's, you know, little accidents happen. Okay. <laughs> okay, and now this one here. Have I got another one pre-cut or not? I think I do. Not that one. Maybe that will fit there. Um, no, I don't really want the birdie one. That might fit there. Okay. So this is... Okay, that fits there nicely too. Alright, and we want a another piece that is the same length, which is that one there. Okay, let's use that one. Oh, the green. We'll turn it over and use the green. Okay, um, but I don't want it that wide. So this panel here is four inches in width. So I've cut that down so that it's an eighth of an inch less than my width and my height. And this one here, I am just going to snip up there. I'm not going to bring my board out because... I think it's telling me that I need to change that blade. Okay. So this piece of leftover paper is the same height as your base paper and the width is actually about two and a quarter inches so we're going to just make some little um, we're just going to make some little pockets to put on those on that there okay so get that okay so that's the our belly band is going to go on there and I need some um, some little 
What about that? Oh no, I might use that for something else. Okay, I need like some off cutty bits. That's nope. I don't want to use that one. Okay. So they might be okay. Yeah, why not? We can do or we can have them the same colour. So they're going to be you're going to cut your pockets the same width as your belly band. Oh no, let me just move that one out of the road. And I might just put maybe two pockets in this one. I've got three in the other one. Yeah, I might just put two in here. So are they both the same? Yep, they are. They are both the same height. So I'm going to put one there and one down here. So all I'm going to do is just with these scrappy um, offcuts here, I'm going to cut them the same width as my belly band. So I'm just going to turn that over there and snip this down here. Okay, so that's going to be one and the other one is going to be up here. So that looks a bit crooked but I shall fix that up in a minute. Right, so that's them the same width and I'm just going to make sure that they are the same height. That one is... So that one there is a tad crooked. So I'm just going to straighten that bottom one up. Does that look better? Yep, that's better. Okay, and I shall just give these a little ink. Um, now I want to put just a little notch in the top there, so I'm just going to grab my, this is a half inch, and just, I might actually, hang on, I might do, I might use my one inch, but just do a little snap of it. Okay, so I've just put a little thumb notch in the top there. Oh, was that the right side? Yep, that one and that one. And just do the same here. I'm just going to put a little thumb notch in there. I do like the little thumb notches. Okay, I'm going to link that and ink around that one. So in the first one I actually had three pockets on this belly band so it's up to you if you want three or two or even just leave it as a belly band and decorate the whole belly band. Okay, so what I'm going to do now is just take this over to my machine and just sew my pockets on. So sew the sides and along the bottom. Okay, so I shall be back. That's sewn on. Sewn the little pockets on. Um, no, I might keep that for something else though. Okie dokie dokie dokie. So we'll bring this back here now. My pockets, I have stitched the pockets on. I've got one up there and one down there. So what I'm going to do now is more or less just tack this onto my decorative paper. Just to hold it on there and I'm going to sew my pages down onto oh I've 
locked closed it <laughs> and then so my pages whoops my pages onto my base okay so let's just center that there okay and I'll just put a bit of glue on the back here that looks disgusting doesn't it I'm going to clean that okay and just put that on there away from the, the folds the edges okay and then guys I'm, I'm going to wipe oh did I knock that in there again oh I'm getting close <laughs> okay oh one two three okay Dave. I'm just going to wipe that oh look at that that's nice and clean now it's starting to irk me okay so all I'm going to do now is just stitch all the way around the edge and making sure that I catch the top of the belly band and the bottom of the belly band okay with my machine okay all done Dun dilly un dun dun. Okay, so we have our lovely little pocket there. We have another little pocket there, and we have a nice belly band back here. I am back, guys. So I have prepped the last pages of our. Uh, altered file folder okay so we're going really well this is the last part um, I have two decorative pockets just here and that little belly band three little pockets here and these are actually little tickets in there and that one's plain. Um, you could put something on that one if you wanted to. I don't know why I didn't. <laughs> and that is the back. Okay, so, and that was the last one we done with the two pockets there with that long belly band. So I have gone and prepped some of these. Um, I've used some off-cut papers just to cover this one here and that one which is why this one here is a little bit thinner but that's okay we can handle that all right so what I'm going to do first is just to glue I'll just move that out of the road I'm just going to glue these ones down in place because that is just straight stitching them on but I am going to just tack them down so they're not going to move on me so there's that one there and this one on that little flap there okay so that's not straight that Oh, come on, I'm wobbling, aren't I? <laughs> okay, so that one's on there. And then this one over this side here. Um, now, just remember that the patterned papers are cut like an eighth of an inch shorter than your actual panel. So this one is like an eighth of an inch shorter than three inches and that one was um, well that one was cut at two inches because that's pretty wide but this one here is an eighth of an inch 
shorter than two inches okay so I can tack this one on the here as well is that the one side I'm putting up or that side um, doesn't really matter um, I might actually put the spotty what am, I, what am I using here okay the green the green did I use I used spotty up on that one so I might put the spotty over here just for something a bit different okay so I'm just going to place that one on there so that's more or less all of our outside covers done except for these last two panels um, that is so pretty I like that um, last, uh, except for the last two panels that I haven't stitched around so I'm going to just do this one here. I have my base paper for that one there, which is um, it's an eighth of an inch shorter than three inches on that one. And these ones I'm here, I'm going to use these two here for just the little um, decorative pockets like that one there. Okay. Okie dokie. So. Um, what I'm going to do is use this one, do the larger one first. So I'm going to use my decorative scissors again. You know, I've just realised something. If you use the scissors this way, it gives you the jagged edge there. But if you turn the scissors around that way, I wonder if that'd still cut. You've got the scalloped edge there. I wonder if that'll cut. I'm gonna, gonna test that out first before I actually um Oh look it does too. <laughs> I've been turning my paper to get the the scalloped edge on the right side okay so now I know I just have to turn my scissors well I've learnt something new didn't I <laughs> oh dear okay so I'm going to have it my have my pocket that high so this off cut paper is about five inches in height and all I'm going to do is Cut from the corner down to this corner in like a little arch design. Um, I'm not worrying about them being even or anything. You know, it's good to have a bit of variety, isn't it? Oh, and I've just lost that one over there. Okay, so I'm going to turn my scissors around and cut this way. Oh my gosh, I can't believe that. Just turn your scissors around, guys. <laughs> oh dear. There we go. Look how easy that was. Okay, so I've got that one there. And then this off-cut piece is about... Four, uh, three and a half inches high and I'm really just going to do the same thing because it's this it's actually the same width across um, as this pocket here so I'm just going to cut up here and oh my gosh I can't believe that how many times have I turned the paper around to get the proper edge cut on it? And that one is going to go just there, like that. So I will ink these up. Did I turn my... Oh yes, I turned the video recorder on. Yay! <laughs> I just went out and had some morning tea with hubby and I 
I've still got a mouthful of coffee left that I brought in here so I'll have that too soon before it goes too cold even though I drink cold coffee okay so we've got that one and that one and this one here so they are just going to all be put down on there and I'm just going to tack these ones on just with a little spot of glue so they don't move on me so I'll just put a spot up here if my glue decides to come out yeah a spot up there and I'll put one in the middle because that's rather long and then one spot down on either side and I can put that straight down on my my page so that one and then I'll just put a spot on here and there and there and there and there and that's going I'm not going to normally I like to actually layer my my bits that I have on here but I'm not going to do it this time only because I'm stitching around and I want to make sure that my stitch catches all of the layers okay so that one can now just be tacked onto my base here So we'll go there and there and let me check to see if that's pretty even with the other side. Yes it is. Good. And all I have to do with this one now is to stitch right around the edges there and this one here we've got that little belly band coming across here so let's just cut this down um, actually I might just finish snipping this and then cut it for the width that I want this little belly band here so I'll just cut it about there oh so now see that's this is where I got confused because I wanted the scalloped edges on both sides but I've only done it on the one side so what I'd need to do is turn that around like that no because I've turned my paper around now okay let me try again <laughs> oh gosh I hope I'm not annoying you too much okay that's it alright so I'll put a nice little scalloped edge on the side of that belly band and that is going to just be placed there I might put a bit of that colour in there so I will snip that off there And we'll just ink these edges. Okay, and then just a spot, just to hold it. A spot of glue there and a spot of glue there. And just put that down there. Okay, so I shall be back in a second and I'm just going to sew all the way around there and sew all the way down around there oh I keep hitting that lamp don't I <laughs> I think my sewing machine's a bit too close to my lamp okay and but I'm at least I know now there was that video um, a couple of videos back where I had didn't notice it so okay there we go there we go it's out of the road again 
Okay, so I have done it. I have sewn the pocket there and this little pocket there. Then we've got a belly band under there, just there. And this one here just needs three little pockets on it. So um, the pockets here, I'll just measure them for you. They are one and three quarters by one and a half. So maybe let's make them one and a half by one and a half square. And we need three pieces. So what's this one here? Um, I'll tell you what I'm going to do. Well, I might, might use some of that. No, that's the blank one. The one with the lines on it, I was thinking. Here we go. All right, let's... Um, something a bit different the one with lines okay so I'm going to cut uh, what did I say one and a half inches okay so which one would I want to do it from all right that's one and a half there so I'm going to cut this just straight up there That was to that line there. Okay. And then we'll just cut this into one and a half so it's on that line roughly on that line one and a half just that line and one and a half which I'll come up that way which is that line there okay all right so we've got our little pockets cut for there and I'm just going to grab my punch again and just do another little thumb notch just up the top so I'm really not um, worrying if um, if I've centered it properly which I suppose I should but you know it's not too bad just guesstimating Okay, so I'm going to have that one up there, that one there, and I might put that line on there. So I'll do the little notch just up here. Okay, and that one's going to go there. <coughs> and just ink around them. Now these ones I've just glued on. If you wanted to to sew them on like the other ones you can. Um, I'm not really sure why I just glued these ones on. I think I'd put that back panel on uh, the decorative piece before I thought about what I wanted to do with it but that's okay. If you do put just all your panels down you can still decorate it. Okay so we've got one there, one there and one about there so I'm just going to um, just angle them slightly and get oh, okay I'm back guys I just heard a really weird noise and I had to go out and check on hubby to make sure he was okay okay so with these ones here like I said I am just going to glue them down so you just put glue 
along those three sides, the two sides and the bottom. You don't need a lot of glue to hold them, to keep them there. Okay, so we've got that one. That one there. Hear the kids yelling and playing outside. Not my, not my grandkids. Neighbour kids. Okay, and then we've got that one about there. Oops, don't wobble it too much. And. Oh there, I've got glue on there. It was hard to see. And then that one just about there. Okay. Oh wacky do. That's finished. Well, not completely finished because you've still got to go and decorate it how you want it. But yeah. Well done. Um I'll just show you some of the decorations from the first one. This is just, um, I've done some stamping on the little squares that we just made and then just put a little bit of lace and a butterfly on the top. I might grab one of those tags out so I know the size for that. Uh, over here on that belly band I've got a little circle piece of lace um, a little scalloped circle there and a butterfly down here a little bit of lace cute as a button and then that was a sticker um, a sticker ticket that I got from uh, Shana which is I can't think of her YouTube name and over here there's a little bit of lace and fabric flowers there um, another little bit of lace here and another scallop image there the word believe over here a little bit of tulle and a butterfly so you know you just you decorate it with what you've got uh, a little bit of butterfly here and some more lace and we, I showed you how to decorate that okay so I just wanted to make sure that this was big enough, oh look at that, big enough for these tags here. Come on, open up. I just want to make sure I haven't glued the centre down. So that's why I'm pushing the tags in there now. Okay, so tags for this, the size of that is uh, about uh, five, one, one and six eighths of an inch. It's like two notches over one and a half inches. And that is one and a quarter inches wide. Um, you could even make them like just one inch wide would be a lot better. They would go in a lot easier but yeah that's just a nice size for that there. Okay so put that back so I don't lose it. Now um, that's about it guys. That's how it was made. It's just up to you to decorate it all now. But what I will do before I finish, I will grab my elastic and just show you how I put that through. Which 
Where is my elastic? It should be in my box here. Which, no. Yes, it is. It's in my box. I got it. Oh, and I just found those other scissors there too. Okay. So I've just got um, what they call hat elastic. And I'm just going to leave it on my spool and thread it through the top to the outside and bring it down and then thread it from the outside back into the inside okay and then oh come on stop messing with me um, I'm just going to pull it so that it's just got a nice tension on it okay and I will cut that off about there and all you do is just tie it into a knot so yeah, that's a nice tension you don't want it too tight that you're going to make this buckle like that you just want a nice tension on it so that it will hold your journal. Um, I don't know if you want me to show you how to make the um, the actual journal part. It's very easy. I suppose I could. Why not? Okay. All right. But that's it. How cool is that? Okay. Oh, and for the tie also used was a piece of seam binding. I'll grab a piece of seam binding. I've seen my the dark blue seam binding fill out this morning out of the drawer when I went to get part of me get something else out of it. So I'll use this anyway and just show you where's but you can use anything a bit of ribbon or something to tie it. So that is going to go around like that. Just work out how much you want so that it will tie into a nice little bow for you, which will be about that much. That'll do for me. So I'll snip that off there. And then all I'd done, just so that you didn't lose this by taking it off or on all the time is on my elastic here I just placed that through there found the center and tie a knot found the center and just tied that down like that so you know that will come undone a little bit and then move up and down but that is your your little tie for your altered file folder okay so that's it how cool now i will quickly just show you how i made the journal that goes in it which is it's rather oh and we didn't that's what that page was for okay I've just found this because I had it in that journal that page there had this little clip on it which is so easy to make as well I have another little clip here um, these ones here these binder clips in Australia I picked these up at what I call one of the um, El Cheapo shops here um, what was the name of it okay I hopefully I can think of the name before before I start to edit this radio I was just about to show you how I done this 
Uh, this was one of the cards that I received from Crafty Dork. So it was already printed on some cream cardstock, but it's very easy to make. I think I might have a piece wide enough. Yep. Um, I'll put that one back there so I know where it goes now. And now I know why that was plain, left plain, don't I? <laughs> Uh, it's been a while since I made this. Had to jog the old memory. Okay, so, right, we'll just put those over there. I've got a piece of cardboard wide enough. I will cut that down. Um, I'll use this. Well, that's not straight, Wendy. Let's try again. There we go. That's a bit crooked. Right. And I'll just use my scissors to... So whatever size you want, mine is, I shall tell you, mine is about two and three quarter inches, which I've noticed... Oh, it just jogged my memory. Um, two and three fourths. Three fours. <laughs> I've been listening to some ladies. Um, here in Australia, we say two and three quarters, right? Which is three over four. But then I've been listening to other crafters say two and three fours. Three fourths. Which I think is just rather cute. Okay, I got off track then. I'm back on track now. <laughs> and I've started tidying up my desk, so I'm back on track. No, I'm not. All right. So mine was two and three quarters inches wide. And you just, just make it to a length that you want it. So I... I want to see a bit of the paper, so I actually might make mine about three and a half, which is about there roughly, and hopefully I can just cut that straight across there. Um, you do, that's just a bit of leftover manila folder, so if you want to decorate it, you can put, I don't know, what have I got? I've got this piece here. All right, that'll do. I'm just going to glue that onto the top of my manila folder. Hopefully I don't get glue all over my table. All right, so we'll just glue that on there. Give it a press down and then cut that across there and up there <clears throat> okay and if you want to you can just um, oh, I might round the edges hey do it a little bit different we'll round this corner and this one and we'll just leave it um, I cut that a bit crooked there. Uh, that's got it. Um, and then you just collect a few papers, um, just like scrappy bits of paper that you want to put behind it. Um, I'll fold this one in half, but I'm not folding it. I'm leaving it layered so you've got that little bit of like layered look under there okay so I might grab another one of those these are, are coffee dyed papers this looks about right uh, what else have I got I've got something else in here right down beside me I've got a heap of papers that I can just Cut, cut down and use 
you can use music sheet papers textbook papers you know just anything it's just like a it's not really a little notebook it's just like putting a few bits of papers um, different kinds of papers in there so you can pull them out and use in your journal if you want to okay so this one here I'm leaving them folded up the top all right um, let's do one of these and a bit of we can cut that that way can't we doesn't have to be up and down the right way that's just a um, a coffee dyed uh, textbook paper so we've got that and we've got that now you've noticed I've, I've got some folded and I've got some just left with one at the top there which is okay because when I put my top one on here I'm just going to sew uh, machine stitch right across there okay so let's see that's okay do I want anything else I've got that and that in there maybe a bit of this one this was a, a free printable printable um, how wide do I want that Let me see okay all right that will do I think um, you could even put a bit of fabric in there if you wanted to whoops okay so this one here I'll just put that at the top so what I'm doing is I'm just kind of like putting a layered look there that one can go there that one can go just there and this one maybe just there and I will just trim that off about there okay so that's all that is it's just like a little just a little group of papers in there so I'm just going to machine stitch across the top so I've so that I've caught all those layers and they're not going to fall out okay and that's all that was so now I can use my little clip and just clip it on to that there now on the other one I did put a little bit of uh, lace or something through there maybe cut this bit down here and we can just push that through there oh come on I got you through there we go and just tie that in a sort of a knot up the top it just adds adds a little something to it okay there we go that looks about right not use those scissors for material okay so that's that one all right so that's what we've got there then we've got our three pockets we've got our belly band we've got two pockets we've got a nice big belly band and another two pockets we have our space for our journal 
we have a big pocket here, a tuck spot and then this one here is our little flip outs. Uh, we've got two pockets, a pocket in here and a pocket there. That We've got that nice pocket there, we've got a pocket there and we had to put pockets here um, but I don't think I'm going to do that right now but you can do that. Now what I did with the other one I made a belly band for here as well okay just like that there so I just used one of the words from that sheet of paper that I had which I don't know what I've done with now um, there it is so let's um, I'll just put cut forever out and use that word and just quickly show you how that was made uh, this is now just giving you ideas for what you can do with yours like you don't actually have to follow this um, for step by step which I know it's quite hard to do when you don't own your own um, the same things craft items that I have but right that is going to go there for a little belly band so we want to back that on to something so I grab another is that long enough no I'm just having a look here beside me to see if I've got a strip long enough nope and if I don't I may have to cut one okay that'll do so the forever the forever doesn't actually go from side to side so you want this piece here to go from edge to edge okay so that will be I'll cut that first all right on the other one I used oh there's my ruler um, I used uh, fabric a, a bit of lace so this one here will be three inches wide okay so so this is like it's a, a nice thickness for paper not quite cardboard but thicker than just normal paper and I'm just inking around the edges now because I like to ink you all know I like to ink <laughs> um, and if you wanted to put some lace or something on this now would be the time to do it so what where is my little I keep pushing it further and further away from me so what I might do I'm going to cut two lengths of this lace here um, or maybe just one do I want one or two can I see that under my forever no um, I want to be able to see that little bit of lace so I'm actually going to cut two lengths of it and the lengths are for the cardboard piece that you're going to back it onto not the forever and then grab some of my glue and put some glue there and then on with this lace here I'm going to put it so that it's coming off the edge up the top there and I'm going to do the same for the bottom and then this one I get mixed up with this lace I can never tell if it's the right way around or not so I'm just going to have that hanging over 
like that and then I'm just going to place the forever on there I might use that other glue I think if it's going to come out for me no it's not of course it won't because I didn't close it up after I used it <laughs> okay so a bit of glue on here and just place that in the center which is roughly about there I suppose does it look all right it looks a bit crooked that lace but that's okay all right and then all I'm going to do with that I didn't sew this on I'm just going to put a nice bit of glue on either side and just glue that down um, just over where I done my stitching so more or less in the center so that's going to go there and that's going to go there and that is the little belly band guys okay so that will need time to actually dry all right but that's the little belly band the two pockets the riding space the pocket there the pocket there and if you wanted to you could put your own pockets here like um, like this one here so there's like a pocket there and a pocket there all right but that's up to you if you want to do that okay so the last very last thing I'm just going to leave mine plain for the time being um, that's going to dry so I can close that up okay so that's that and that's that that's the pocket there that's the front we've got our ribbon now the last thing is the journal just let me pack some of this stuff up here put those words over right just tidy up a fraction and I'll just quickly run through the journal with you okay so this is the journal that fits in in here okay so that fits you'll have a nice little journal that goes inside your altered file folder right and the size of this <coughs> I'm pretty sure the pages it's four inches wide yep four inches so you need to cut a piece eight inches in width which I've got one here so we'll cut it eight inches in width. I'll just do this, I'll keep going. And the height is seven inches. And I no, it's not. It's six and a half inches. Okay. Right. And six and a half inches. okay and I might just leave that side showing or do I want that side showing um, we'll do this side showing so that just gets folded in half okay and I did I did round my edges on this one
That's a bit crooked, Wendy. That's better. Okay. So that that is that. Okay. Now, the papers that you put in there, um, coffee dyed papers, music sheet paper, um, I've got some lined paper in there, and I'll tell you how many sheets I have got. I don't even know, so I'll count them. Right, we've got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. 11, 12, 13, 14, 15. Okay, so there's 15 sheets of papers in there. Right, so, and the papers, the size of the papers will be about a quarter of an inch shorter than, so that... It's your cover is eight inches in width when it's not folded, so your papers will be roughly around about seven and a half inches. So that'll leave like a quarter of an inch this side and a quarter of an inch that side. Okay, so one, two, what's the width of that there? Hmm, that might be better. Um, all right, so I don't know. Um, I will just show you what I have done here. I have sewn the cover here. I've sewn it directly on to the front cover, so you can actually see the stitching on the inside. Okay, so you just get an image. Have I got a little image or something here? Let me see. Yeah, what about this one here? Look, that one there. I'm just going to grab that and cut that down a bit. Um, I might cut it to about there, I think. Okay, so we'll cut this down to there. So that's going to be the image on the front of my journal and I'll round the edges. I'm not sure if you want me to show you how to make the journal but I don't know, I kind of like, I'm in the space now right now to just show you and we'll ink around the edge. And under the image, I've used a piece of calico, which I'm not sure what um, you ladies in America call it, but we call it calico. So I'll just grab a piece of that. Uh, I'm just hoping this one's going to be big enough. Yep, it will. So I'll just move that up a bit. I leave about a quarter of an inch all the way around my image so I shall snip that about there and just give that a rip because I like that little ruffled or torn edge look okay not frayed edge I'm sorry torn rippled whatever you know what I'm talking about guys okay so that is going to go onto there and I'm just going to snip and rip this one keep that okay that goes on to there like that and all I'd done was just um, done, done a zigzag stitch all the way around the end. So if you wanted to, you could 
just put a tad of glue just on here just to hold it for you that side so that's going to go just on there like that and I'll just put a tad of glue in the center of that just to hold it to tack it down there does that look right yep and I shall just quickly stitch around there okay done 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 and just cut those off there um, that's the fraying that's not okay so I do like to actually fray mine around the edges looks I don't know it just makes it look softer I think okay so that is how simple and easy that was made the cover made for the first journal now let's um I shall get some papers together 15 because I put 15 pages in there okay and I will I'll get them and I'll get them cut and I'll come back and I'll just show you how how easy that is just to sew that in like that okay I gathered up my papers and I think I've cut them to the right size now the length of this journal is six do I say six and a half yeah six and a half so uh, I like to leave like a little space around mine so I have actually cut mine in length to well that one's only six but it should be six and a quarter six and a quarter inches okay so I just grabbed some music sheet paper a couple of different um, types um, I've got um, this was a, a leftover piece from a free printable that I think came from Mr. Victor Crafter. I'm not too sure. Oh, I'm not sure about that one. Okay. And then I've got some textbook paper. Um, I've got this off cut from me making the altered file, file folder. And I've also got a few of these papers, uh, coffee dyed papers, and these ones here are the offcuts of the other size papers that I just made. So it, they can be all different shapes and sizes. Okay, you don't have, or you, if you like, you could just put 15 pages of plain copy paper in there, and you know, decorate it from from that but I'm just going to do it this way so and it's only one signature okay so I've just folded them all in half and I'm just going to put them in in together so um, for me that that one there is the right size so I'm going to use that for my cover page and these ones here I haven't cut down quite enough but I will show you how I do that as well so let's just start filling this up I haven't counted my pages one two three four four five six Seven, seven, eight, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. Um, I'll put this one in 12 13 
14 and the last one in there I think I might just put that one 15 okay so I've got my 15 pages in there um, I'm just thinking I'm going to put 16 in so I'll put this last one in here in here as well so I've actually put 16 in mine now the first thing I'm going to do, I need to trim them down to the right size because some of them weren't. But these longer ones here, I'm just going to fold up so that I'm going to leave those folded in here and flipped out. Okay, so that's that one there. And you can fold them anyway, but you need to fold it away from the actual edge of your papers because I'm going to show you how I just cut mine down if yours aren't cut to the right size so there's still a little bit that needs to be cut off there so I just put it down here on my board get my ruler and and a blade gosh that and just put that there along there and then just gently cut down over that so that you just get a nice cut and then it's all the same height then I'm just going to do the same here for the width so just make sure you've got them all in there nice and firm and your line is straight here and then you just put your ruler up just only like a fraction over the edge of the width of your page your folded page and then I'm just going to cut down like this you just do it gently over and over a couple of times just keeping it straight as you go And I don't, I just get rid of all those when I see that they've been cut. Oh, I moved that. Wow, did I cut it crooked? I hope not. And we're nearly there, guys. I'm moving that a bit. Okay. All right, that'll do me. Okay, but you get the idea. All right. I moved that a couple of times, but hmm, that's okay. Now, I'll just put all these in garbage okay and that is all your papers cut so what I do from there I just get them up nice and firm up there and put them in where I want them to be in my cover which is round about there and I'll grab a couple of my clips which mm, is down here I've got a nice big, big clip here so I've got that in nice and firm in there and I'm going to use this clip and I might just put it on this side here right so that's nice and firm up to that spine there so all I'm going to do now is poke three holes with my pokey tool It 
is. Right, I'll take that off. Okay, so there is the crease up there. And I'm just going to look for the center, roughly. Go there and just poke a hole straight through the center. Okay, so there's that one. And then up, up at the top here, I'm going to come down about an inch from the top and poke another hole. Just like that and then come up about an inch I'm working on the inch for um, roughly measuring it from the side of the cover okay so then about an inch from the bottom and poke a hole just like that so I've got my three holes there and I will grab some twine. I can only find my black one, but that'll do. I'll use my black. I use crocheting thread. Oh, I'm out of my other one. Okay, that's okay. And then I just grab one, two, two and a tad for the length of my crocheting wool and hopefully I can thread this needle okay missed it missed that too okay <laughs> I'm not very good at threading a needle but I was watching I had been watching Sonia Steptoe thread her needle and look at that it still beats me how it works when you hold it in between your two thumbs and just thread the thread it through that way it's unreal so thank you Sonia okay so then um, I want my I don't want my dangles on this side so I'm just going to come in from the center and go out to that outside there leave a little tail here then come back in from the outside I hope I haven't have I moved that no I haven't got my needle going straight okay um, out through the outside uh, now with this one I'm actually I'm going to go back through the center here out to that side there and try not to catch the the um, the thread like don't split your thread and then I'm going to come back in here and then I will just I'm going to pull my thread underneath I'm going to loop it underneath that top one there okay so just pull it nice and tight make sure you've got your got it all nice and tight or firm anyway and then just tie a couple of knots so it's that easy to just put these together okay right tie a couple of knots and I might leave that like that and that is the journal done guys see too easy and I didn't go around the outsides but round the outside, round the outside. Oh that's that song. I got that stuck in my head once before a couple of years ago. That um, is it a kids kids song? Round the outside, round the outside. <laughs> okay. I'm just going to do my edges while I'm here. 
okay and I might put a little bit in here on the inside now with my other one the first one that I made to go in my altered file folder I actually went and rounded all my pages so look that is just so easy to do I normally round mine when my journal has been put together just like that so and you know sometimes it's just nice to have some rounded edges I think and that's how easy it is just to do that one there is not cut properly that's all right sometimes it's just nice to to round your edges in a journal um, and see that I did make a couple of little slips when I was cutting that because I wasn't holding it tight enough but that's okay I'm actually enjoying just coming, going along and rounding my edges <laughs> in this. I wonder if I can do two at once. Hmm, maybe. Hmm, yeah, two at once. If they're the same length, you can do two at once. Yep, you can. Okay, I'm just thinking now that I just should have ended this video. So, um, I will, guys. I will just stop what I'm doing. You know, I'm finding this really relaxing, just sitting here and clipping. <laughs> clipping the corners on this. I don't know why, but I just do find it very relaxing. I thought that was a bit crooked. I didn't have that one in properly. That's better. Right, I did. I found that so relaxing then. I think this is going to need an empty now. So I have cut quite a few corners. Rounded the, the corners off. Oh yes, that was full. There we go. That's right now. Okay, so let's put that in our little journal. It's all done. Yay! Yay, guys. So this is just going to sit whoops, right in there. And that's our, that's our altered file folder done less putting on like the personal little touches in there okay <gasps> oh pardon me hiccup right, so that's it guys i hope you enjoyed that little mini series i did i really really enjoyed showing you how i made my first one which was this one i shall put that one back together and I've taken all the tags out of this one too so I'm going to have to fix that one up a bit okay so that's it guys thank you I'm actually really I'm actually really pleased that I was asked to show how I made my first one so I hope you enjoyed that little series I tried to um, keep it as short but you know when you're crafting you kind of like get carried away with things don't you all right you all have a great day let me know if you're going to make one for yourself i'd love to um i'd love to see it or what have you oh it looks so pretty they're similar but different 
very cool okay thanks everyone you have a great day and i will catch you next time bye